you're not keeping warm indoors, you're probably outside enjoying the snow, and that's the case for dozens of families in our area who are sledding in Louisville's parks. Alexis Jones and photojournalist Jessica Farley visited a park today where they had some fun. As snow blankets all of Louisville Friday, families are heading to the highest hills they can find. It was a nice snowy day, so we decided to come out and uh, hit the slopes with the sled. Sledding is a tradition in Joseph Spencer's household. Though his children are now grown, he and his wife still sled down Seneca Park. It brings back a lot of good memories, and, and now that uh, our daughter has kids, you know, kind of passing that on to the generation. The park's golf course was filled with parents creating new memories with their children. It's an awesome experience getting to see them, their little rosy cheeks, their smiling faces, and just getting to see them have fun. Just like eight-year-old Nikki, who says he's the fastest on the hill. Super duper fast. So I decided to challenge Nikki to a race. On your mark, get set, go! Sadly for me, Woo! he remains undefeated. Oh my God. Nikki credits his sled and the golf course for his success. However, on Louisville's Parks and Recreation's list of best places to sled in 2022, Seneca Park didn't make the cut, which residents say is unfortunate. This is one of the best hills in Louisville. You know, it's just the right length. It's got, got the kind of right undulations, the right, the right angle, so you, you're not going too fast, but you're going fast enough. But Spencer says there's still a chance you will take a tumble like this guy on our GoPro. <laughs> but he assures the snow will break your fall. You, you know, you recover and you kind of you go home and get some nice hot cocoa. Or you can follow three-year-old Daniel Mahinney and dive face first in some snow over and over again. In Louisville, Alexis Jones, WHAS 11 on your side. Well, if you plan to go sledding, Parks and Recreation shared some safety tips that you can follow. They include only using objects designed for sledding, wear appropriate clothing, of course, because those loose ends or flaps can easily get caught and check your path for trees and other objects, because as we said, tomorrow you could be going fast and you don't want to run into anything.